In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create before and after images for social media using two different methods in PaintShop Pro. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I want to share the before and after images we're going to create on Facebook. So for this tutorial, we'll be using the Facebook post size of 1200 by 630 pixels, but there are many common image sizes you might use depending on where you want to share your image. First, I'll show you how to do a side-by-side -side comparison of two different photos. This is a great way to show off before and after shots of home makeovers and renovations, weight loss or fitness progress, or even if you want to have fun recreating a childhood pose 20 years later. In this example, we're going to show off a home renovation and create a side-by-side -side comparison of the room before and after our reno. Let's start by opening up PaintShop Pro in the Edit Workspace and click the New Image icon. Now enter your desired width and height and set the color to transparent. As a side note, if you often create a certain image size, you can click on the plus sign in the New Image window to create your own preset. Let's click OK, and now we need to open the before and after images we'll be using. To place them side by side evenly, each image will need to be resized or cropped to fit the full height but only half the width of your canvas. So for our Facebook image size, each image will need to be 600 by 630 pixels. If you don't already know the size of your images, you can check out the image information by going to Image, Image Information, or by right-clicking on the image and selecting Image Information. Depending on the original images, you can choose to crop or resize or both. This will completely depend on the size and dimensions of the images you're working with, or if you want to crop the images to remove some unwanted elements or focus in on a subject. For the images I'm working with, I'm going to first resize the before and after images by clicking on Image, Resize, then adjusting the height to 630 pixels, then click OK. Now click on the Crop Tool icon and add your width dimensions. Then adjust to where you want to crop your image and click the Apply icon. Now go to Edit, Copy, then go to your new blank image and go to Edit, Paste as new layer. From here, we can use the Pick tool to align our image or go to Objects and use the Align commands to place it exactly on the left side of the canvas. Now repeat these same steps with your after image and place it on the right side. Finally, we can use the text tool on the left toolbar to add before and after to our images. Now I'm going to teach you how to create a before and after split image, which is a creative way to show off your image editing skills. First, open the original image and the after image if you've already done the image editing. If not, make sure you are working on a duplicate copy to preserve your original as you go ahead and add the effects and enhancements to your image. Once you've finished editing, copy the after image and paste it as a new layer on the before image. Make sure to crop and resize the image to your desired dimensions as we did in the first method. Now use the Rectangle tool to draw a thin vertical rectangle as a divider. I recommend zooming out so your image isn't full screen and drawing the rectangle to extend off the canvas a bit, which will help you if you want to rotate it on an angle later. Now decide where you want to split the image in half, whether that be horizontally, vertically, or on an angle. Or you can place the divider off-center for an asymmetrical look. If you're not sure, use the Pick tool and drag the divider into different locations or set it on an angle to see what you like best. Once you've decided where to place the divider, click on one of the selection tools. The regular selection tool will work fine if your divider is not on an angle, but if your divider is on an angle like mine is, choose the freehand selection tool and set the selection type to point to point. 
draw a selection around the part of the image on the left side of the divider, which will be the before side. From the Layers palette, click on the layer that has your after image to make it the active layer. Then press the Delete key. This will delete the selection area you created, allowing the before image to show through. And now you have a cool split image to show off your image editing skills on social media. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.